In today's video, we're going to be comparing two very popular 3D printers, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon versus the Bamboo Lab A1. We're going to talk about some of the big differences between these machines, and I'm confident by the end of this video, you're going to know which 3D printer is a better fit for you. By the way, I'm Chris, and this is my channel, 3D Print Dude. One of the biggest differences I feel from Bamboo versus Elegoo is the ecosystem. And when I say ecosystem, what I mean is how well the 3D printer works with a phone device or the slicer. Not sure if you knew this, but with the Bamboo Lab machines, you can get on their app and essentially you can just do a ton of things on here. These are all the 3D prints that I could be 3D printing directly from my phone. So for example, my girlfriend has been bugging me to 3D print her some bookmarks. These would work perfect, right? And what's crazy is I can just click on prepare to print so I choose my 3D printer, I have the A1 here, and then it tells me the colors, and I click next, I then choose my printer, I then click on start print. And I think this ecosystem is truly a huge deal. I spend hours on the phone app looking for cool things to 3D print. That and I can directly 3D print things from my phone. So if you have children that are constantly looking to 3D print, this is huge. As far as Elegoo's ecosystem, it's just not as good, but this is actually a very new machine and they've been adapting very fast. I don't think there's a phone app yet for the Centauri Carbon or the Elegoo stuff in general, but I bet it's to come. All right, so let's get into the dorky stuff here and I'm just gonna go back and forth of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon versus the Bamboo Lab A1. So first of all, this is a bed slinger and this is a Core XY 3D printer. It is said that Core XY 3D printers have less vibrating and it has better layer line adhesion for that reason. That being said, we have so little issues with this bed slinger and it's tried and true. People have just print farms full of the, the A1 machines and they're just, they just work, man. They just work all day. Another huge difference is this is an enclosed printer. So we can do temperature controlled 3D printing in here, which is huge for people looking to 3D print certain materials. But if you're looking to stick to the basics and we don't need temperature controlled and we don't need the enclosure, the Bamboo Lab machine does its damn job. I've also heard a lot of feedback that people have cats that like to mess with their 3D printers and that's where the enclosure is helpful. That being said, my argument for that is that you can get enclosures for the Bamboo Lab A1 for probably like 30 bucks. They have like a giant zipper over it. Think of it like a big greenhouse. The next feature I wanna talk about is multicolor. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, once I get the AMS multicolor unit with the Bamboo Lab A1, it's more money. But guys, I sincerely think that it is going to be completely worth it once you get into multicolor 3D printing, just because I've done so much single color printing. And if you're into multicolor printing, like artwork and cool stuff like that, here, let me show you some of the cool stuff I have over here. So I love custom artwork and I don't know what it is. I get a lot of comments all the time. Chris, why don't you just print that on your printer? And I know, I know, but I just love 3D printed artwork. So if you are somewhat into this type of thing, like look how cool that is. It's absolutely crazy. Like I made this for my dad. These are some coasters. He's on the fire department. This is of my daughter. You can make coasters, keychains, just so many cool, cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I think multicolor, it, it is totally worth the money with the Bamboo Lab machine. But if on the other hand, you find yourself just okay with single color 3D printing, you know, the Elegoo is a budget it's, a, it's just cheaper in cost and it's, yeah. So I think it's also important to talk about price points. Even though the prices of this stuff constantly change and I get comments of people saying, hey Chris, this price isn't correct, but right now we'll talk about it because it's kind of important. So this bear machine is $350 without the AMS unit, right? And that's a fair price. But the Elegoo Centauri Carbon is only 300 bucks or 299 to be exact. And who knows, they could lower the cost because Elegoo, that's what they're known to do. And it's just really gonna boil down, do you want a budget single color printer for 300 bucks? Or do you wanna get the single unit single color for 350? Or do you wanna jump up and get AMS with multicolor printing and maybe possibly spend a little over $500? And I know there's gonna be a ton of people saying, Chris, I can't spend $500 on a 3D printer. But guys, 
You need to because the multicolor 3D printing is absolutely insane. As far as print quality goes, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon is doing quite amazing, especially for it being like a budget 3D printer. I've had zero issues with it. Some people have stated that early on in the beginning stages of the, like right when the printers were released, they were having more issues. But Elegoo has been really quick to kind of like fix a lot of the issues. And I think a lot of their fan base is excited to hear that they really kind of care about what their fan base is saying. God dang, some of these supports, man. This is Pet G. That being said, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, it prints other materials great. This is Pet G, which is known to be a lot stronger than PLA. And it prints tons of different types of filament. If you know what this little guy is for, hit me up in the comments down below. I'm not even going to say it, but man, oh man, do the kids love these. And I've been printing just so many of them. I was having issues with the PLA. The ears were breaking on them, but these in the Pet G are holding up super, super strong. Another conversation piece to talk about is the bed size comparison on these 3D printers. So this is the A1 here. This is the bed plate directly from the Centauri Carbon and it is directly the same. So you're getting the same bed size, so you're gonna be able to print the same size stuff. So that's kind of an easy comparison on this. So some of the flaws on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon that I really don't like is the light kind of blows on this thing, right? But what I did was I just bought one of these cheap ring lights that is powered by a USB, and I just kind of plop it on there and it works. It works extremely well. Also, the camera is a bit, little bit lackluster. The camera probably isn't a big deal. The screen and the interface works really well, um, but you're kind of limited, like I said, to only using the slicer. Again, I have a video, a full video on how to use the Elegoo slicer down in the, I'll throw a link down in the comments. Um, but as far as this goes, this A1, we can print directly from our phone like I was showing you before. And there's one thing I wanna show you while doing that, and that is changing filament. So I find that the AMS is the best thing ever for changing filament. So first, I wanna show you what changing the filament is like in the Centauri Carbon. So all you do here is go on over down to the settings, and then we need to change um, extruder right here, and then click on unload. And now it has to go through the entire process of heating up, Changing filament on this machine probably takes a couple of minutes because you have to sit there and wait for the hot end and you have to remove it and then refeed it. And now I want to show you exactly how long it takes me to change filament on the A1 with the AMS unit. All you do is push this trigger, unroll it. You guys should time me. I take the roll off and then you need to make sure you have it in the correct feeding direction. Put it on and then feed this into the little input here and then there it is. So it's under a minute, and now it's self-feeding itself up into the PTFE tube and over into the head. And it's it literally took me probably 20 seconds. And I think that is worth noting, the time you're gonna sit here. I know you're gonna pay a couple hundred bucks extra to get the AMS unit, but I think the time saved in changing filaments, I don't know, it's really up to you. Let me know in the comments if that's a deal breaker. It is a couple hundred dollars cheaper, and if you're only printing single color, this is probably the machine, honestly. This is this was built to be a replica of the X1C or P1S platform. It's such a hard comparison, guys. The Bamboo Lab A1 versus the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It, it just depends what you're trying to do. Each of these 3D printers have different pros and cons, and I tried to talk about each of them individually. Hopefully it helped you in trying to figure out which 3D printer is gonna be a best fit for you the Elegoo Centauri Carbon versus the Bamboo Lab A1. I have probably 10 3D printers right now, and these are two of my favorite machines. Um, guys, if you're looking to buy, consider using my affiliate links in the description. I'm just a 3D print dude, nerd. Uh, I love 3D printing. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit me up in the comments with your personal thoughts. I wanna hear back from you guys.